Good morning. How are you? I am at school and ready to do a lesson on sequencing. We're going to work from the Active English course book, this one. If you have it at home, great. If not, you can just follow along with the pages I've uploaded. So here is chapter nine. I'll read it and you can read along with me and then we'll do the activity at the end. It's called Crick Crack's First Day. Let's cover up what we don't want to see right now and look at the initial questions, the first questions. Do you wonder about the time when you were a baby? Why do you think babies need to be looked after? Okay. A baby crocodile is sleeping inside its eggs. His name is Crick Crack. Soon, he hears a voice calling, wake up Crick Crack, it is time to come out. Crick Crack pokes at his egg shell with his mouth. The shell cracks and he pushes his mouth out through the crack. So there's the verb pokes and the verb cracks and the verb pushes. Then he pushes harder and soon his head is out. He sees a big crocodile looking at him. It is mum. Come on, my little son, climb out, she says. Crick Crack scrambles in his shell and out he tumbles. So he scrambles, verb, and he tumbles, verb. He looks all around. He sees many little heads poking through their shells. He watches his brothers and sisters climb out. Suddenly, everything goes dark. Crick Crack finds himself in Mom's mouth with some of his brothers and sisters. Wow, he is in his Mom's mouth? Is she going to eat him? He looks out between two large teeth. Where are we going, he asks. Keep still, stop wriggling, or you will fall out. I am taking you to the river, says Mom. After a short while, Mum opens her mouth and the baby crocodiles tumble out. Splish, splash, splosh, they fall into the water. All of a sudden, a shadow comes across the river. There is a big bird in the sky. It likes to eat baby crocodiles. Go away, hisses Mum. Dad is on the riverbank. He leaps high into the air. Snap! That's the end of the bird. Mom goes to sleep on the riverbank. The baby crocodiles play in the warm river. Dad stays on the riverbank and guards the baby crocodiles from enemies. Okay, that's the end of the story. Reading comprehension. Number the sentences in the order in which they appear in the story. So, Crick Crack sees a big crocodile looking at him. Crick Crack finds himself in Mum's mouth with some of his brothers and sisters. Crick Crack pokes at his eggshell with his mouth. Mum goes to sleep on the riverbank. Dad leaps high into the air. There is a big bird in the sky. So our job is to figure out what, which sentence came first which happened second in the story, which happened third, up to number six. So we have to go back, think about the sentences, and look for the order in the story. So here is the beginning. A baby crocodile is sleeping inside its egg. That's not one of the sentences. So then let's look at the next paragraph. Crick Crack pokes at his eggshell with his mouth. Now that, I remember, was one of the sentences. And I think that would be number one. Let's look. Yes, Crick Crack pokes at his eggshell with his mouth. So we would put a number one in that box. Do you see the sentence? 
Crick crack pokes at his eggshell with his mouth. Number one would go there. Number one, I can't write very well today. Number one. Now you gotta figure out what's number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Let's read the next sentences. Oh, let's read the sentences again. Crick crack sees a big crocodile looking at him. Hmm. Crick crack finds himself at in mom's mouth with some of his brothers and sisters. Mom goes to sleep on the riverbank. Dad leaps high in the air, or there is a bird, big bird in the sky. What do you think happens next? Crick crack sees a big crocodile looking at him. You think that's right? Let's check it in the story. Okay, so we had him poke his shell, poke at his eggshell with his mouth. The shell cracks and he pushes his mouth out through the crack. Then he pushes harder and soon his head is out. He sees a big crocodile looking at him. It is mom. Yes, that sentence is number two. So, Crick Crack sees a big crocodile looking at him. That is number two. Did you get that? What do you think is number three? Crick Crack finds himself in mom's mouth with some of his brothers and sisters. Mom goes to sleep on the riverbank. Dad leaps high into the air. There is a big bird in the sky. I think you know. Let's look, you decide, look back at the, at the story. What happens after he sees a big crocodile looking at him? Okay, so he scrambles out of his shell and tumbles out. He looks all around, he sees many little heads poking through their shells. He watches his brothers and sisters climb out. Suddenly, everything goes dark. Crack finds himself in mom's mouth with some of his brothers and sisters. So that one is number three. You put a three by that sentence. Okay, so we have number one, two, and three. Crick Crack is inside his mother's mouth. And we find out that m mother crocodiles carry their babies in their mouths. I did not know that. So, his mom takes him to the river, and they all splish splash, they fall into the river. So what comes next? Mom goes to sleep on the riverbank. Dad leaps high into the air. There's a big bird in the sky. All of a sudden, a shadow comes across the river. There is a big bird in the sky. It likes to eat baby crocodiles. Go away, hisses mom. So we know number four is the big bird is in the sky. All right, All right. Okay, what happens next? Mom goes to sleep on the riverbank or dad leaps high into the air? Dad is on the riverbank. He leaps high into the air. Snap! That's the end of the bird. So that is number five. And then mom goes to sleep on the riverbank. So you go down here, you find number five. Dad leaps high into the air to get rid of that nasty bird. And number six, mom goes to sleep on the riverbank. I hope you got those two, three, one, six, five, four. Not that hard. This is called sequencing. I'm gonna show you the word. When you put things in sequence, you decide what comes first, second, third, fourth. That is the word, sequence. And that is what we just did. It helps you make sense of a story, it helps you remember the story correctly. It helps you answer questions and understand the story. That's what our job is. Okay, well done. Let's do another activity.